Today, we're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to install an ice shield de-icer. During this video, all necessary tools and supplies, as well as key steps of the process will be highlighted. Proper safety equipment is recommended, including protective eyewear and protective gloves. The viewing of this video will not certify any company or individual as an official certified ice shield installer and is only to be used for reference purposes. Please refer to instructions for continued airworthiness documentation and the de-icer installation STC for your specific application. If at any point during this video you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to iShield at 1-800-767-6899. Let's begin. Common items necessary for installation of an ice shield de-icer include metal yard ruler, toluene resistant chemical gloves, nitro gloves, ice shield adhesive kit, vacuum source, rubber roller, a one half inch nylon roller, metal stitching roller, masking tape, chalk line, permanent marker, scissors, toluene, and clean empty chemical containers. Before starting the installation process, verify that you have the correct replacement de-ice boot for application. You can check this in the aircraft IPC or determine the part number of the previously installed boot. www.iceshield.com can be used as a reference. The first step of installing is dry fitting the new ice shield de-icer onto the leading edge surface, verifying the de-icer's length, width, air connection location, and cutout locations, if any. Next, it's time to mark the center line of the aircraft leading edge. Verify the air connection is in the proper alignment and centered in the inlet hole on the leading edge. At the end of the leading edge closest to air inlet, use a permanent marker to transfer the center line mark from the back side of the de-icer onto the leading edge. At the outboard end of the leading edge, hold a level vertically against the airfoil and mark the point of contact to determine the center line of the wing. You may need to repeat this procedure at the inboard end of the leading edge if the distance from the inlet to the end of the leading edge exceeds six inches. With the help of an assistant, stretch a chalk line across the leading edge from the mark at the inlet hole to the mark just placed at the outboard end of the wing. Mark the center line with a permanent marker every 12 to 15 inches along the wing. Finally, using a straight edge, here we use a metal yardstick, mark the center line with permanent marker as one continuous line across the leading edge. You will use this center line during installation to match up with the center line on the back side of the de-ice boot. Wearing toluene resistant gloves, use a clean, lint-free toluene dampened cloth to wipe the leading edge, following immediately with a lint-free dry cloth removing any residue. Be sure not to remove the newly applied center line marking. After the wing surface is clean and dry, mask the aircraft leading edge with masking tape a half inch beyond the de-icer width. Next, prepare a work surface of sufficient size to lay out all de-icers being installed. You can use craft paper or a clean cloth covering to cover the work surface. Note. Do not use polyethylene or other plastic coverings as they would interfere with the adhesive application. Using scissors, trim approximately 5 eighths of an inch off the 3 inch natural bristle brush. A stiffer bristle brush will produce a smoother and consistent application of adhesive on the de-icer and leading edge surface. Using the supplied stir stick, Mix the 1300L adhesive thoroughly to ensure there are no clumps at the bottom of the container. The 1300L adhesive must be completely mixed before use and must not be thinned. Next, 
Apply 7.5 PSI vacuum to the de-icer inlet, making sure that the 1300L adhesive is completely mixed with no clumps. Pour some 1300L into a clean, dry chemical container. Disposable paper paint containers work best. Cover and place the 1300L adhesive original container in a safe place for later use. Using your trimmed 3-inch brush, apply one light layer of 1300L adhesive to the de-icer. Using one vertical stroke and spreading the applied adhesive approximately 3 inches horizontally with a quick tapping movement. Cover the entire bond side of the de-icer with a thin coat of adhesive. Allow the adhesive to dry a minimum of one hour, with longer dry times required in extreme humidity or low temperatures. Use the same brush stroke method used on the de-icer to apply a thin coat of 1300L onto the leading edge surface. Begin with one stroke vertically, followed by multiple tapping horizontal strokes until the brush load of adhesive is spread and repeat until the leading edge is covered with adhesive. Allow to dry a minimum of one hour. Once the minimum hour dry time has passed and the coated surfaces are dry to the touch of your knuckles, apply a second coat of adhesive to the de-icer and to the leading edge using the same application technique as used for the first coat. Again, allow each surface to dry for one hour. Before beginning application of the de-icer to the wing, put on toluene-resistant gloves. Next, roll up the de-icer from both ends to the air inlet with the shiny side in. Insert the air inlet into the inlet hole with the de-icer properly oriented and align the de-icer center line to the center line marked on the leading edge. Using a clean, dampened toluene swab, Activate by wiping a 15 to 18 inch length by 2 to 3 inch width of the center line of the boot and the center line on the wing. Check for tack by tapping the activated adhesive with your knuckles to assure that it's tacky but not wet. Then roll the center line of the shiny side of the boot with your 2 inch wide rubber roller to secure it to the wing. Repeat this process in approximately 18 inch sections until the entire center line is adhered to the leading edge. After ensuring that the center line is properly adhered, Apply 7.5 PSI vacuum to the de-icer. Working from the leading edge to the trailing edge, repeat the process of activating 18 inch by 3 inch sections with a toluene swab, checking for tack and rolling down the de-icer until the de-icer is completely adhered to the leading edge. This process will be used for the top and bottom surfaces of the wing until the entire boot is adhered. If you experience trapped air bubbles or wrinkles, use a narrow, flat, semi-rigid nylon probe with rounded edges and a blunt point. Dip the probe into solvent, MEK preferred, and work it under the de-icer toward the trapped air. Move the probe from side to side so that the bubble of trapped air is open to the atmosphere. Wait approximately 10 seconds before rolling the de-icer back down. Start rolling at the closed end of the air pocket and work toward the area where the probe was inserted in order to avoid re-trapping air in the pocket.
When boot application is complete, use a narrow metal stitching roller to roll down all edges of the boot. At this point, remove any adhesive from the aircraft leading edge that extends beyond the installed boot to provide a clean surface for the conductive edge sealer. Be sure to avoid getting any cleaning solvent under the boot. If needed, trim any excess boot using a sharp utility knife making certain that no cut is made in the active area of the boot, the area within the visible stitch lines. The next step entails applying SMR A56B conductive sealer. Apply masking tape approximately a quarter inch in from the edge of the de-ice boot and a quarter to a half inch beyond the de-icer, attempting to cover the entire bare metal surface. There must be at least a quarter inch of bare metal between the de-icer and the edge of the paint on the leading edge in order to assure a conductive path from the de-icer to the wing. This conductive path will allow static electricity to discharge from the de-ice boot. After thoroughly mixing the A56B according to instructions on the container, use the one inch brush to apply a conductive sealer between the tapes, covering the edge of the boot and the bare metal wing area. Have an assistant follow behind removing the masking tape a few seconds after application. The cardboard tube supplied with the new ice shield boot can be used to assist removal of tape. Now that the de-icer is properly installed on the leading edge, you can replace the vacuum line with the aircraft air supply line and replace any removed access panels. Be sure to allow the 1300L adhesive to cure 48 hours before inflation. Thank you for viewing this Ice Shield video. We appreciate your business. Force to Focus Studios. Captivate and inspire your audience with breathtaking images.